Hi guys, this is Shivaredi. Welcome to Korshava Tutorials. In this session, I will explain how to sort list implementations such as array list, linked list for the user defined objects. I will explain this thing using an example. So let us go to the Eclipse. In this, uh, um, in this Eclipse, I already written a array list demo. I am going to use this uh, same example to explain this concept. So initially what I have done is I created a list using a string objects. So I have added three objects and now when I run this program, let us consider I am coming out this method as of now. When I run this program, I see the output test hello by. By default, LL list will maintain the insertion order, but I want to sort this um, uh, list in the ascending order. So, in order to sort for the natural ordering, the collection framework provides an uh, predefined method, I would say, that is in the collections class dot sort. So, if we pass any user uh, any uh, predefined uh, java classes objects like a string or integer or float these wrapper classes related or the string related object by default it is going to be sorted based uh, in the in the natural ordering so if you now we can run this program and see the output and if you see the output it is now sorted in the ascending order okay so for uh, for the list implementation or the for the array list or the linker list collections dot sort is the method is used to sort the uh, list in the natural ordering but when you are working with the real time uh, classes like um, for the real time uh, classes and uh, system really java does not know about uh, these uh, classes as these are the user defined uh, classes and uh, we will create a user defined um, uh, user defined uh, uh, objects so now i will explain how to uh, sort user defined objects uh, in the uh, list implementation like array list or the linked list so i have in order to uh, in order to sort these user defined objects you need the class whatever the object we are going to prepare that class must implements comparable interface so implements comparable interface so it is also a takes a generic format so i am using employee so this is an interface so it has a comparative method we have to implement it why we need to implement it is in the case of uh, uh, java uh, data types like a string we know that there is a only one uh, value we are going to take and uh, compare but in the case of user defined object we have a many uh, member variables and the system really does not know on what parameter or what uh, 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 field it should compare and then it needs to be sort. So compare to method we need to write we need to write the logic on which parameter or the property you want the sorting. So I am just modifying this one to EMP and uh, now for as of now I am considering uh, em based on the employee ID it should start sort sorry so in order to do that employee that this is the implementation we need to provide <coughs> else if this dot emp id greater than emp dot get employee id then return one else return minus one once Sorry, once you implement this um, uh, uh, comparable interface now you can we can go to the main class 
so i am going to apply collection dot sort i am going to pass this list object so if you see the impl uh, little bit more about this description so the it is going to uh, this sort method will take a list of type t and type t is going to be extend the comparable interface okay so this is going to provide the natural ordering okay now i am going to run this program then we will see the employee id 101234 so we have written the logic based on the employee id hence it is sorted in the employee based on the uh, employee id but if you don't apply this sort method here collection dot sort if you don't pass then you do not see the difference if you see here it is still whatever the insertion order we provided this is the same but if you apply this collection dot sort method and you pass the list of objects of the object which implements a comparable then by default when you run this program it will provide the natural ordering the same is applicable for the link list also okay so link list so there is no difference uh, in the program just if you run this program you will see that this is in the natural ordering so this is how you need to sort um, for the user defined objects when you are implementing the list thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video